you with another one, bruh. Patriots beat the Buffalo Bills 25-6. to Now, you know it's the Buffalo Bills. The shit don't mean shit. It don't mean shit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This game was horrible. Shouts out to, let me say Merry Christmas to all you guys who do celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever else is around this time, too. All I know is Christmas and Hanukkah. That's all I know. Sorry for other people that have any here, though. That's the fucking game. Now, this game was fucking trash. Game told me a lot about our team. I'm going to talk about Josh Gordon a little bit down the line. I'm going to talk about a little bit, obviously, with his game because he disaffected his I'm going to speak about the game first, then I'm going to talk about the playoff picture. Ah, just, I'm freestyling this shit. It doesn't even matter. I'm just dabbling right now. Back to the game. So, this game really showed Josh Gordon's absence. So that Tom Brady doesn't, one, trust his receivers, or his receivers are really not getting open no more. I, I really think Gronk. Man, you know what's tough? Bill Belichick tried to um, finesse uh, Matt Patricia in Detroit. Imagine we got a first round pick, Detroit's first round pick for Gronk, and Gronk was playing like this for Detroit. That would have been tough. He knows about the koalas. Yo, bro, I'm not going to give it to that. I may talk shit about Bill Belichick, but once it comes to koalas, man, Bill Belichick on the low ski must be a Haitian. I swear to God, that nigga must be a Haitian. The way he koalas niggas, he must be a fucking Haitian or African. I'm not going to lie to you. But... Far from none, the game was fucking trash. We couldn't throw the ball. I, I, how much yards did we get, bruh? We well, had 300 yards, but we got no TDs off it. Don't let that fool you. Element, I guess Element, Element did have that one nice run, uh, like nice catch and stuff like that. No touchdowns out of it. But uh, Brady had two, wait, what? I swear Brady had two interceptions. Did this stat line's not right. I just took this in. Oh. Wrong game, wrong game. That's tough. That's tough. That's how I'm looking at it like, wait, what? My bet. Alright, I forgot to score the game, but I did watch the game. I knew, I, I know uh, one of the past one through, okay, it's 24. I knew the score the scoreboard was close. It was 24-12. My bad in the beginning, yeah. I said 25-6. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I, I, and I'm just thinking, we're 10-5, and five. yeah. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. Um, see, I said, I ain't cutting it out. I made mistakes. That, that's, that's, I made a Stephen A. Smith. Y'all could, y'all could make fun of me. I made a Stephen A. Smith uh, mistake. Yeah, I knew it was in good passing game. Because I saw 300 yards, I'm like, God damn. What's wrong with them stats? I know Brady did not throw for 300 yards. That game was ass, my nigga. Ass. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, Brady threw for 100 yards. He even threw for 200. He threw for 100 yards and two interceptions. I knew he saw two interceptions. But, yeah, Brady had two interceptions, bro. It was horrible. Gronk couldn't catch for shit. I'm going to say Edelman didn't have yards like that. Bird can't. Like, look at this, bro. Gronk got three targets, zero catches, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know, Sony Michelle, the running game didn't go crazy. But our bread and butter is gone. Now, could the Patriots win in a different way? If we beat Miami, just think about it. If we won that Miami game, because they won by it. Bro, something, yo, it's twisted how the shit happens in the NFL. But if we won that Miami game, we could potentially be first place right now. He did it. So, like... At the end of it all, Brady is doing the best he can and is putting his team in the best position he can to keep us afloat. Do I think Brady could have a magical game like he did in KC, like he did um against the Colts, um against I'm going my blank, but he has some good games this season. You know what I mean? So could Brady go make a little plays, make a little noise? I don't know, bro, but. End of the day, the way this team is going, man, offensively, I, I don't know if we could do it, bro. What's some games? Uh, Miami was another one. Yeah, I know we played the Colts. Uh, Chicago, Brady played a good one against. Aaron Rodgers, he played a good game against. Um, I didn't really find, Oh, the Minnesota game, he played really good. So, like, again, could... 
could we have a hoorah in the playoffs? I sure we can. Do I think I saw Brady go be down 20, 28 points without no Gronk and come back and win it? I believe in anything. You gotta believe in anything, like Granette says. You feel me? You Boston people and believe in that shit. Y'all have seen some miracles happen. So that's just what that is. I really don't. I really don't have much to talk about the game. The defense played. I think this is Belichick's worst defense that he had since he ever coached. Right? He um. They they did play. They they come to play, but Buffalo Bills and I really felt like the Buffalo Bills did have their ways. Some if they just had a better quarterback, I see. I feel like. I like we like this game wasn't. I don't feel like this game was out of reach if they had a decent quarterback. That's how I feel about the game. That's scary to me. Buffalo Bills, bro. All teams. That's that. Um, the more the thing I really want more talk about is the playoff picture. Like I hate talking about these games, bro. It's 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 harder than bro. Not knowing Josh Gordon is gone, shit like that. But it's it's next man up. That's how we played over here. That's why I'm gonna talk about Josh Gordon after I'm done all this football talk, and I'm gonna talk about even Travis Scott and shit like that. I, I won't put that in the time. I'm gonna talk about should Travis Scott, you know, perform the Super Bowl? Should black people Super Bowl? Something like that. Wait, what was it? All right, the freestyle little. Hey, I I know for a fact. Oakland has to play KC for number one. If Oakland beats KC, we automatically get number one. But I doubt that's going to happen. So we're playing for number two. And we got to beat the Jets. And I feel like we're going to beat the Jets. So, nothing to worry about. We got number two. If we lose to the Jets, bro, oh, my God. We're not going to the Super Bowl. Because think about it, right? We get the first week buying of the first game at home against the three seed, right? Three seeds looking like kind of. Oh, they don't put it where it's easy. It's going to be the Texans, right? Yeah, it's going to be the Texans. 3 seeds going to be the Texans. I don't think the Texans are going to lose. I don't know who they're playing. Like, but let's say the 3 seeds Texans, right? We're going to be at home. I think we can be the Texans at home. You know, we usually do. That's the type of shit I'm on, right? Some magical shit. Hopefully, you know, the pass keeps up. The second game we play, if KC loses to San Diego, we get home field. Yeah, you know I mean, so it could still work out where we could get to the Super Bowl. But my thing is, does Brady get to the Super Bowl, lose another one, and now we say, "Oh, Brady's this, Brady's that." You know what I mean? But I really do feel, end of the day, bro, if this Tom Brady keeps getting to the Super Bowl, he's just that great. So end of the day, I don't even care if Brady loses or not. It's just more gifts I can see Tom Brady play. But I know for fans like this thing, like Jordan six and zero. You know what I mean? Um, Montana four and zero. So. Or three and or whatever he is, bro. I'm on Montana fan. I know Montana's a good quarterback. Right but and then day, bro, does it really matter? I don't care. But I really do feel in my heart like Patriot Love Nation type shit. We got a chance. We do. Because if you really think about it, think about how much stuff we have seen Brady be down by. Even in losses, we've seen Brady be down and do some magical nothing. And this is his worst thing we ever played with. So. I really knock him. Yeah, I, I don't want to knock Brady this year, right? So we're gonna chat for second place, bro. We're gonna try our hardest for it. I believe they're gonna get it. I just feel like the cards are gonna fall in our place. I feel like in the KC's probably not gonna. I think KC chokes in the playoffs. Maybe Andy chokes on himself. Calls the wrong play. A bell check shit. Who knows? But it can't happen, right? So you gotta keep that faith. You gotta keep that faith. All right, let's talk about Josh Gordon now. Mental health is a real thing. I have all dealt with it myself. I have documented videos before. If y'all only fuck me for a video about the football shit, understandable. But if you guys are subscribed to my channel and you heard me talk about this, already know. So that's a real thing. Now, for Josh Gordon's sake, it's that. It makes me believe when you personally deal with it and then you see someone like that mad to deal with it, it's devastating. It's like, damn, like, to have. The one thing you really love and desire is still not. It still doesn't feel. Feel me? So like I believe that Kanye West mental issue is fake. Ex fans died. Ye is trying to pick up those fans. That's literally how I feel about it. People say I feel like more trippy red. People try to make trippy red to be that kind of person. But I feel trippy red is more actually how the nigga feels. He makes that kind of music. He's always been making that kind. Of music. So does it feel like more like forced? But I think. 
kind of made X a better. That's a whole nother. Not my point. I'm a Josh Gordon right now. What I'm trying to make right now is Josh Gordon is going through something. He had a girlfriend. Oh, you know, they broke up because he was allegedly cheating on her or whatever. And I allegedly heard, because it's all alleged shit, that when his suspension came, when he started, you know, dabbling back, came on the bye week, right? They said they kept a good eye. Allegedly, the Patriots had a good eye on him, been there. But, you know, when people go on the bye week, they can't have someone seven. His support system around him is not around him, or wasn't around him, or it's not strong enough enough around him, and got caught up. So I didn't know if that led to him even relapsing and doing fuck shit in his relationship. Um, or is he just in a cycle where he can't mask it for that? He, like, he can't mask it for long. Like, he's only so much masking he could crack it. He's trying to. So I feel bad for him. I, I know now that he's not with the team. Probably not going to get the proper help he needs. Um, I hope. He could make it out of it and probably not back in the NFL. Well, at this point, who knows? I don't think a league or team's going to have some faith. Like, how long are you going to go for? You're going to go for a year and a half again, years again. You're going to come back like you pretty. You're really not that explosive anymore. You're more like a, you know, fight for the ball 50 50 kind of guy in it. That fights for the ball kind of receiver. I don't know how that's going to transfer football wise, but I believe you could be a, a great spokesman for these young kids who are growing up in the drug addiction age where niggas are doing coke and doing Zans and smoking hella weed and you know, sniffing, doing a whole bunch of shit while growing up. It's, it's that kind of era. So you could probably be a great person, a great role model. For example, to get this guy's love. Why is he? On things in trials and tribulations, you that's why I believe that's probably going to be your calling from you. But if by the grace of God you can get yourself back to the NFL, place where you love and you care about, bro, I'll be happy for you for any team. Yeah. Talk about Joshua and what else? That's what I'm on. Travis Scott and the Super Bowl. Now, this is an ironic conversation. I'm gonna start off with should black people watch football. I do think black people should watch football. The majority of there's more dominant football teams are more dominant black than white. But it's fucked up because sad to say, I do believe majority of owners do come from a bigger. But now you gotta think about it. The richer you are in life as a white person, the more you're gonna be around more bigot thinking white males. Because the there's not enough of the underclass in that realm for them to start breaking through. Like, the white people who are poor have more realizes and more understanding to everybody else's realization of life that they may not, they might come away with a less racist mind. Now, obviously, there's probably poor white people who are racist. They're not all rich people, you know what I mean? But I just feel like the more higher up in money you are, the more of a there might be a racist mindset around there because there's not enough of different multicultural people in that or breeding that kind of money for them to like weed it out. You know what I mean? It's that type of shit. So I feel like there are owners in the NFL. Like if I was a fan for the, the Houston Texans, I'm not watching football this year. I'm not. If I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, yeah, I got the number one defense or I think they have a refund. I don't really know. I got a great defense. Here. I'm not watching. I'm sorry. But I know, I know Pittsburgh, uh, not Pittsburgh, Baltimore, they, 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 they didn't try to hide it. They made their players never got Um, I know my owner, uh, Robert Krabs, loves black people, right? Then the man comes, the man mean, white people start walking Air Force One. Him and ba- Skip Bayless. I got Skip Bayless some, some credit for this too. Rocking sneakers with a suit on? Billionaire man don't do that, bro. They don't. And that's some shit that that more hip hop niggas want to do type of shit. You feel me? And my man's rocking it. I gotta rate that. You feel me? Um, Tom Brady. Yeah, was he friends with Donald Trump? I used to have an Xbox, Xbox three hundred and sixty. I did buy Xbox One. 
I had Microsoft computers. Bro, end of the day, I thought I saw Donald Trump in a whole different light too. Now he became president and it became bigot shit, but bruh, what will you expect for a man who's been making money in that kind of realm? Sometimes you just get it happens. You know what I mean? Now do I think it's right now. It's not it does not make shit right at all, bruh. But I don't think Tom Brady's racist. He made him and Randy Moss. Great duo. If he was really that racist, he wouldn't only want all white receivers, you know what I mean? He had Troy Brown, he's cool with all the black players on the team. So again, don't think anything is racist in his blood. So me as a fan, I think I'm cool and happy to cheer for my team. There's nothing wrong for me to cheer. I feel like certain franchises should have got hit. I feel like certain franchises should have got, you know, belligerent or you know, not belligerent, but their fan base should have spoke up more about their owner's actions. But it that's just what it is. Like that's that's the truth about it. Right, so now when it comes to them trying to get black entertainers or hip hop entertainers in the culture in the football scene, right? That's what the NBA is always gonna win. The NBA fucks with the culture. That's why the NBA is always gonna win. They fuck with the culture. The NFL it may be the number one sport right now. I hey, I love football because it's ran by a lot of more. I think there's more rich, wealthier white males watching football than watching basketball. There's not. That's what make a whole ton of money. But baseball, people got it. Baseball, you know what I mean? Like, you got to think about it. Who's really watching? I mean, these things, right? So, when I lost my phone, I'm not going to try to yell. But basically, what I was basically trying to say, I believe the Bassa, yeah, that's a cool NBA is going to get. It's gonna thrive and make more in gaming, merch, e sales, and everything in the next like five, seven years. You're gonna see a product even because the culture just is starting to fuck with basketball. There's nothing. There's no. There's like like the owner, the Clippers the owner was a had a big mindset. They gotta get the fuck out of here ASAP. In the NFL, they're not doing that. They're not doing that. The owners run the league. The owners are not coming together being like, bro, we're getting this big nigga out here. Nah, bro, they're not doing that, bro. PDD wanted to own some part of the Carolina Panthers. So they're not putting PDD in that spot, bro. And PDD got the money for it. Don't get it twisted. So you just got to really think about team. And do you want to support this team this year or throughout all the bullshit? So they start, you know, fixing some shit. That's up to you. It's each his own. I just know my team, my squad, there's no racist bullshit around. You feel me? That's just what it is. Now, musicians. Travis Scott. See, Cardi B. Alright, I had to cut it because time's I didn't know I was talking for that long. That's crazy. Now, I know Cardi B, she wanted, uh, she got asked to do it, she declined it, and Cardi B just a year ago, a stripper. Now she's making billions of dollars. She don't need to take. Yeah, the thought of it, it would be a great look for her. But at this point, she has culture behind her. So longevity wise, it may not be necessary for her to get that super bullshit because the culture may stop fucking with her. And that's how she makes her bread and money. Travis Scott, let's have the culture behind them too. What culture? Travis Scott also has more. White people money supporting his shit. And he has, like, he has both the culture and white people money supporting his shit. And so, if he took the Super Bowl, it's not like if the culture did say we're not fucking with Travis Scott. Let's say the culture canceled Travis Scott right now. He's still gonna be making a whole shitload of money. The white people fuck with him. Like, I feel like there's certain artists that that the culture fuck with. That even if they got canceled because they did this bullshit, we'll still fuck with them. And their numbers would probably divvy a little bit, but eventually we'll forget about it because white people fuck with them. Travis Scott is one. And because he has the Kim Kardashian family. Um Kanye West, another one. Kardashians behind them. Like that's a lot of 
money and power behind there where bruh um Drake I believe that Drake did the Super Bowl but I think Drake wants to be more to in with the culture so for his brand and sake I would he wouldn't do it but if he did do it as much as the culture didn't want to fuck with Drake it would it would just be a blow by it will the weekend he's another one um I can't really think about any other artists on you know, top what I'm trying to make is To them, it's just more money. Like I think if Travis Scott did do it, they're probably gonna throw a whole bunch of money at him. Probably more money to, to the point where he got to say like, "Yo, this got help feed plus more of my generations or increase my generations wealth during their lives." Like at some point, he's gonna want to take the money. So if he does take it, I don't knock him. I wouldn't hate him. I still bump his shit. How his art? Great Drake. Oh, is go like talking about Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. It doesn't work. There's Tom Brady, period, and there's the second class of course. Rodgers. Rodgers. That's not the point. He has something I'm trying to say. So for Travis Scott, I just believe hey, as much as people might say, you know, that for Kaepernick, Kaepernick, that and I don't say Kaepernick tried to do was a, a humble thing. More Rich people, more wealthy people, who that have a voice, that have a platform, should use this shit to, you know, get this shit off and make sure that you know people realize that the way society is being ran is fucked. But you blame the NFL solely for how things transpire. I don't know the inner workings. Maybe there's something I'm, I'm missing. I know Kaepernick's a better quarterback than half these teams got. Was he being blackballed? Yes. But it's like honestly, if the Patriots had a worse quarterback than Tom Brady, he's a quarterback. If Jimmy Garoppolo he got hurt and Kaepernick's out, I do want to see how it would try Kaepernick in. That's the kind of shit I would want to know on some. And no, if if it didn't happen, say if it was Josh Horner was my quarterback. They didn't bring it in, then I'd be like, yo, this is a franchise I gotta, you know, keep by. Or I would think, I think more about the NFL, how dirty the NFL is. Because I think no team ever picked it. I know Tim T said they watched like Seattle and shit like that, but nobody really did. And I think that's super fun. But I just think you can't, you guys cannot try to Scott for not getting credit and shit. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I feel like I'm just babbling this about like this. Um, you already know it is. Fill the comment section. Tell me you guys how you feel. You guys think we're gonna lose to the G I think we're gonna get sixth place. Tell me about your playoffs prediction. You know, we're gonna get our first playoff win after our buy. You think we'll come out that buy and get a loss. You think we're gonna get a buy. Don't think you don't think we're gonna get that buy we're gonna be a wild card team. Tell me who they were playing the wild card and we're gonna beat by the wild card team. You probably can see Tennessee. Probably not. Or Tennessee the Colts. Hey, Houston Texans. Baltimore Ravens, oh, Steelers could all be in the wild card too. That's cool. Oh, wait, Steelers could get knocked out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Ooh, I just realized that. That, you know, this playoffs this year is like, it's just looking nice. Crazy, bro. That's how it's looking crazy. Already know it. The comments and tattoos. Until next time. Call me like a witch, bitch. Little dick. Put it on your daughter and still call it night. Patty K, Patty K. Got a new bitch like Johnny K. Take me up on the roller skates. Or lights on like a violin.